OG to breathe. Oh, and he's had enough. Yanks her into the corner, connects with a wicked chop. She got the boot up. Back into the second rope. Flies in with an elbow, connecting with Alex Price. Into the cover. Only two there from referee Derek Douglas. You can see Alec Price heavily favoring the jaw after that connection with the elbow of basic Becca. What else does she have up her sleeve? Basic Becca looking to take flight once again. Advancing up to the second rope. Oh, come on now! The Price falling into referee Derek Douglas, pushing him into the second rope and knocking the footing loose of Basic Becca. She fell down to the ring apron and Alec Price right there to capitalize. Double axe handle to the back. And what the hell is he thinking now? <laughs> Yanks Becca up and sends her into the steel ring post. Spine first once again. And third time's the charm. Back first into the steel ring post goes Basic Becca. Oh, come on now. Back first onto the ring apron. What happened? You know damn well what happened. Alec Price dropping Basic Becca hard. Into the cover, it could be over right here. Only two. Becca having the wherewithal to kick out somehow. Price now with a handful of scrunchy. Come on now. Referee Derek Douglas admonishing the prize. Becca back up to her feet and firing back at the prize. Finally breaks him off. He boots her away. Backbreaker from Alec Price. Okay. Dropping her back first on the knee. That back that was just driven three times into a steel ring post. Only two from referee Derek Douglas. What intestinal fortitude here from Basic Becca. Continuing to withstand the onslaught from Alec Price. Who drives a knee into the spine. Planting it in the middle of the back of Basic Becca. Meanwhile, tearing back on the chin. Trying to make it as uncomfortable as possible for Basic Becca, who's fighting for every breath. Becca trying to get back up to her feet, and she does. Firing off at Price, who fires a knee into the midsection. And a headlock takeover once again. Taking Becca down to the canvas. Maybe this is Price's game plan all along. Becca tried to take him back into a head scissor. Shoulders down, only two. From referee Derek Douglas right there on the call. Wrestlers around ringside showing big time support for Basic Becca. Who's fighting for air at this point once again. Back to a vertical base, but for how long? Firing off the prize, jawbreaker there. Not sure how much of it she caught, but the prize stunned nonetheless. Big forearm. Connecting firm on the jaw of the prize. Wow, what a shot. Off the rope, Price able to roll through and drill her in the spine with that forearm. Gut wrench powerbomb sits out into a pin. Only two right there once again. And the frustration boiling over the prize, backing the referee in the corner. You don't want to put your hands on an official. And just stomps basic Becca down to the canvas. Oh, what blatant disrespect! Mopping the canvas with basic Becca! And blowing raspberries to keep him down for the count of three. But what's Becca thinking here? Back kick to Price. Once again, seating him down on the canvas. To the middle rope! Price kicks out her leg! Out of the canvas by her hair. Back of her head careening off the ring mat hard. And what the hell is the prize trying to do here? Twisting up basic Becca like a pretzel and ripping her back by her hair. That's gonna be illegal, but basic Becca has to tap out.
This could be an interesting turn of events. As Becca has it measured up. Oh, and Huckabee just launches the pinata right at her. Off the ropes goes Huckabee. And that diving European uppercut. Here we go. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it. Now listen, normally in any situation, that would be a DQ as a, as a, uh, a legal object. But, I mean, it's a pinata. Adam's doing the right thing by letting that one go. And Travis Huckabee here. Grabbing Becca like a rag doll, just swinging her around, and the gut wrench suplex up and over. Yeah, he's not happy right now. And, and we it, talked about him competing with a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Anthony, it's coming to full display right here. Yeah, this is when things get violent. When when Travis gets angry, and, and now he's he's done playing the games. Walking with a little bit of a swagger here inside the ring. Throwing that forearm right to the back of Becca there. As Huckabee... Trying to stay in control here, the Irish whip. Goes for the hip lock, takeover, grounds her, but holds on to that left arm, rolls through, and now here's a submission hold apply. Look at the innovative offense right there by Travis Huckabee. Oh. Yeah, he, he already has one broken arm under his belt here at Leapfrog, and, and uh, Abs can attest, his arm is still jacked up from, that, from Travis. As Travis Huckabee having his way right now with Becca. And Huckabee backs her against the ropes here and just flips her over with one arm. That could really do some damage to that rotator cuff or AC joint there, Anthony. Yeah, absolutely. And then he follows it up with a giant, with a spinning uh, uppercut to her back. And now he's going to grab one of the party favors. Oh. And he's just going to tear her right in half. That's not cool. Party Much foul. to the chagrin of the crowd here in Williamstown. That's not the leapfrog way. He's gonna get billed for that. As the crowd chants, party pooper, very, and I totally agree. Very appropriate here as Travis Huckabee, might as well start calling him no fun Huckabee. Zero fun, that, that, that's exactly right. As Becca now trying to get back to her feet, and Huckabee, oh, he's pulling at her hair here. He wants that scrunchie out. As the leader of the scrunchie squad, might lose one of her powers, if you will. And she's retaliating here. Has Becca with a series of shots to Huckabee. Huckabee now going to change positions. Gets on the other oh. side of Becca and throws a big headbutt right to the upper part of her chest. Near that clavicle area. And a big sweeping clothesline. Stacks her up. One, two. Somehow, Becca kicks out. Wow. Travis is livid right now. He thought that was it. And she quickly rolls to the outside of the ring to get her composure. Heads up maneuver to derail the momentum of one Travis Huckabee as the Golden Grappler now heads to the outside like a man possessed. But Becca, she's not backing down here. As Becca and Huckabee on the outside of the ring, referee Adam Galt continues to administer his count. And Becca's going to roll back in and break it up. Doing great counter-striking there because she was trying to get herself composed. Travis tried to chase her to the outside to keep the pressure on her. And she did some pretty good counter-strikes to keep the distance. She goes for a big strike right there. The fatigue might have set in. Huckabee moves out of the way. Oh. And now Huckabee spins around and drops her face first right in the center of the ring. Becca's down, but Travis Huckabee... He's down as well. He can't quite make the cover. He, she's trying to roll out of the ring again, so she, she can't get that cover on her. And Travis is quickly trying to stop her from doing so. And you can see the frustration setting in on the Golden Grappler as he heads to the corner to snatch up Becca and go right back to the drawing board here. He's going to perch her up on that top turnbuckle. They're in high-risk territory here, Anthony. Becca with the big clubs. Looks like she's going to get out of that danger spot. She's firing away. Knocks Huckabee down. Once again creates a separation. She's upstairs. Becca with the crossbody. Huckabee's going to roll through. And now Huckabee oh, goes no. right for that arm. Oh, no. He's going to... He's going to try to snap it. He's going to try to twist it around. What's he going for here? He's going to grab the leg and arm. Grapevine it over. He's twisting and wrenching. Becca's got nowhere to go, and that's going to do it. Got it. And the former gymnast is going to put it to the test. AG anticipated impact and instead slapped in the mush. Becca ducks the clothesline, side headlock. Some basic maneuvers from basic Becca. 
she just gets run over by the shoulder of Anthony Green. Off the ropes he goes, dropped down from Becca, leapfrog from Becca. Oh no, and picked out of midair by the Limitless World Champion, dropped down hard. AG right back up to his feet, confident as ever. But you swallow. Oh! AG tearing Becca back to her feet. And drills her off the top turn. Ooh. Shot to the top of the head from AG. And that will stop your heart. A chest caving chop from Retro AG. And now gonna send Becca hard across the ring into the corner. And AG is proud of himself. The Limitless Wrestling World Champion successful last week in our debut episode's main event against non-America's sweetheart Davian with the championship on the line. Elevating basic Becca who shifts her body into the cover. Only two from referee Dickie Christmas. Oh no, and once again, Run over by Retro AG, shoulders down. A one count from Dickie Christmas. This is a tough young lady. Hey guys, can I clap along with you? No, 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 no. Clap along with you? No. He's gonna clap along with everybody. I don't like the sounds of that for basic backup. Another wicked chop. And a kick to the midsection from AG. But Becca quickly returning. Two straight forearms. Oh, and a jab to the throat. AG putting a halt to that brief flurry from basic Becca. Snapmare. And AG going to slow this one down and dissect basic Becca. Driving the knee and the spine. Tearing back at the head of basic Becca. All the while restricting the airway. But Becca... Feeling the energy from the wrestlers around ringside here. She's trying to get back to a vertical base. Using Anthony Green to pull herself up. Connecting with shots of the abdomen. But AG connecting with a stiff club across the back. AG though breaking the grip and yanking her over his shoulder. A gnarly landing for basic Becca and Anthony Green. Looking to capitalize. Fireman's carry position. She slips off. German suplex from Basic Becca. I don't know if she got all of it. And AG connecting with a boot. Bringing Becca right back up to her feet. And what the hell is this? Step through snow plow from Anthony Green. Still only two. I don't know if Anthony Green expected such a fight out of Basic Becca here today at the Limitless Wrestling Dojo. Not even putting the championship on the line. And maybe at this point, that was a good idea because he can't figure out how to keep her down. Two straight forearms, but a wicked jab from Anthony Green. Back and forth they go. Basic Becca. And that one connects to the back of the head. Anthony Green dazed in the ropes. Off the ropes she comes. But Anthony Green dropping her flat on the canvas. Fireman's carry position. AG looking to close this one out. Into the stunner he goes. Basic Becca able to change rotation mid flight and jacking the jaw of the Limitless World Champion. And here she comes. AG out of the way and connecting with a super kick. No way. Shaker height spike. Implanting her into the canvas, and that's gotta be it. A valiant effort from basic Becca. But she's dead set on hitting a backflip. Second row moonsault, no water in the pool. Whoa, you utilized the moonsault. That was the opening. That was the opening, but you utilized the moonsault. What does it feel like when you miss? Oh, man. So, having a person underneath you kind of cushions the blow, but just hitting straight onto the mat from that height, oh, knocking the wind out of yourself. When you can't breathe, you can't defend yourself. Bobby Orlando fighting back. 
Oh, oh man, well placed boot there, and that might have even been a little bit low. Got the fireman's carry slam. Bobby Orlando. On, Bobby, show us some sick tricks. Sick clothesline in the corner. Sends Becca for the ride. Becca out of the way. Bobby Orlando got the back elbow up. And the sick trick cutter, man. He planted her. One, two, three. Up. Up, up, up. Barely got the shoulder up on that. Bobby's got to dig deep. Bobby might be looking for a backflip of his own, but he's got to be careful. Also likes to connect with that dab elbow from the top rope, but not from this position, Willow. Unable to find his footing. And there you see Becca holding on, gets brushed off. Cleaned his clock. Misses with the boot. Bobby Orlando staggering around. The shotgun drop kick sends Becca down into the corner. Now looking to elevate her up into that second rope. What's he got to follow up with? Maybe looking for top rope Bobby Plex. Oh. oh! And he sticks the landing. Sick indeed. Trying to find his foot. Second rope superplex. Both competitors are wiped out. Well, I mean, at least they did their job. They kept Becca protected. Oh! That was a bad sound. Yeah, you heard that on the floor. That was Bobby's brain splattering on the wood out here at the White Eagle in Worcester, Massachusetts. And now Becca up to the top rope, unable to connect with a 450 splash from this position. Maybe a cross, Bobby. Oh, no. Shrugs away the drop kick. Has a jackknife. And Bobby picks up the win. Like that I said that. Hopefully that's it. Able to happen tonight, but not right now. Oh my! Set out there. Powerbomb. Only two. Only two. Almost like an Alabama slam into the powerbomb from Brad Cashew. And Becca is feeling it now, holding the back of her head. And Cashew now in the driver's seat. Big smile on his face. And there's such, there's such a narcissism to Brad Cashew. What does he have to be happy about? You're only as good as your last victory, and his last loss was 31 seconds, Sam. Well, with narcissism comes delusion, oh. Oh and now God. we're seeing Brad working on the left leg, particularly the ankle of Becca. This could debilitate her long-term in the match if she's not able to break out of this ankle lock that's in place right now. Absolutely. And Brad Cashley, like I said, he has a 3.7 at BU, but a 4.0 in wrestling. He did not get to display that in Herman, Maine, back at the beginning of October. He's hoping to do so right now, and I think he's done a very good job so far. And now inflicting the Indian Deathlock on the leg of Becca. Oh my gosh! Very nice. Oh, wait, why don't you tell me about the pressure that this puts on the ankle and what Becca might be feeling right now? Well, absolutely. Take a look if you will. Brad Cash, like I said, a technician. It's one thing to put it on a hold and just slap it on, but pinpoint accuracy. He has her tied up and he's absolutely driving his left leg in, separating the legs. Nowhere for them to go. And once again, has it. Becca already has the ropes. He's going to lean back on that, perhaps. Yeah, I think he uh, it twisted up. her in the wrong direction. Wasn't too aware that the ropes were there, but Becca, Becca had the purview to see that. Say, absolutely, though, but favor, like you said, how is that going to affect her, Sam Laterna? We're seeing it right now, holding on to that leg, and Brad, with no regard, just throwing a, a, I mean, a closed fist there in the cover. Only two, says Quite ungentlemanly. Absolutely. Well, I don't think Brad was coming out here to be a gentleman by calling someone out of the crowd for what I thought was an amateur wrestling contest for 31 seconds. I'm sure the ladies loved him in college. I'm sure. The cover. One. Two. That was that uh, 26 second man thing I was referring to. Can I explain it on comment? No, I still can't. Don't no. I'm being, I'm, Randy is giving me a stern look. I'm not allowed to talk about that. Uh, once again here, what is again tripped up? Ripped up here is Brad Cashew. And Becca is entwined. The left leg of Becca being worked on. That ankle has to be hanging by a thread. But you know what? Becca has worked so hard over the past 
last year. She's a tough one. You know that. I know that. It's evident by uh, the way the wrestling world is perceiving her as well. Rookie of the year. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Scratch muffler from Brad Cashew. Walking around the ring, ragdolling her. Look at that grimace on his face. I am not a fan of it. And Becca's got to figure something out, Sam. This makes me uncomfortable. Absolutely. Seeing her in this much pain. He has no qualms about using his strength over back Brad Cashew, German suplex. Oh. Very nicely done. Textbook German suplex. Only a two. Once again, beside himself. We talk about Becca, who's overcome adversity here in Limitless Wrestling. Uh, has defeated the likes of Charles Mason. Gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with JT Dunn. Very much a part of Team Davey to take out John Alba. Don't say his name three times. I hear he appears if you say it. Brad Cashew now. Going to be looking for a very impressive victory. He took out Kevin Koo not too long ago. Looking to get back into the win column at the expense of Becker. Going to the outside. Could be looking for that 450. I don't know if that's the move. I don't know if this is the wisest plan from Becca. Troy, if we're making bets right now, is she going to... Oh, well, I spoke too soon. Brad Cash was up, and he's preventing her from doing whatever she had planned. Perhaps that 450. Samoan drop by Brad Cashew. That might be enough. Two. Only two. Brad Cashew. Once again, could be looking for a submission. Picks that ankle. Ankle lock to Becca. Tweaking it. Twisting it on. Look at how far the foot is moving. Twisting that ankle. Not meant to move that way. And when the whole ankle is torquing, you feel that from the ankle to the head. And cinched in, and Brad Cashew knows that. Absolutely, very well versed in the human body. Understands a lot. This man has no regard for the human body. He wants to destroy Becca because perhaps Becca destroyed a part of his confidence. Absolutely. Winning against him in 31 seconds, but she got the ropes. The match continues for him. Absolutely, Brad Cashew now. Gonna try to figure it out. I think it's gonna come down to a submission. If, you, if Brad Cashew, you've sufficient. already picked that leg, you've picked that ankle. Becca cannot stand. It's to the point where I don't think she can go to the top for the 450. And wait a minute now. And I don't think it needs to come to this though, Brad. That book that he laid her out with last month after her contest with Trisha Dora. Wait a minute, Davey in here. Davey in here to intervene. Gonna grab that book from Brad Cashew. Small package. Becca's got him. Becca's got him. That's a three count. Only one, that was like six. You Becca. know, I don't think Becca's too pleased. Davey is trying to help, but oh, oh no. capitalizing, spinning heel kick Lance goes for the pin. Flush, two, three, Brad gets her. Oh no, Sam, caught her with that kick. Becca took her eyes off the prize. She was too concerned about her friend coming to help her out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Camp Love Frog continues. As it's time for this blindfold matchup, making her way out here. Oh, you see Effie, one of the hosts of tonight's event. He's leading her around the ring. This is Basic Becca. And Basic Becca will hopefully be able to feel her way to victory. As again, the blindfold match. A rarity in the sport, something we don't see too often. Uh, she looks to be bunny hopping around the ring. She's going to need to feel her way around as Effie once again trying to help her out. And it looks like... Basic Becca has found her way in the ring, but that's only step one. As, she's gonna, as Becca... Oh, wait a minute. Come on now. She has to stay blindfolded. You have to put the blindfold on. Gina try to enforce the rules here. And Becca needs to oblige before she gets disqualified, perhaps. And Love Doug getting a bit of assist from the crowd. Basic Becca back in. She knows which direction he was in. 
But Doug has since moved from that position. Remember, folks, a rarity, not a lot of tape to see for the blindfold battles. You can go back to WrestleMania 7, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rick the Model Martell, probably the most famous of the blindfold battles. As now we lock up here as they find each other inside the center of the ring. As basic Becca backs Love Doug into the corner. She has five seconds to break. She does break. And Love Doug. He's going to crawl out of the corner. Oh! And Becca trips over him. As once again, these two on opposite sides of the ring trying to find their their bearings here. As the real life Cupid looking for Becca, his first love in the wrestling world. He's just inches away now. Basic Becca's within arm's reach. He just needs to move it to the right. A little further, Doug. Oh no. Trying to feel his way out here. As basic Becca and Love Doug about to touch back to back. And the double clothesline. They take each other out. But they don't even know where the other opponent is. This is awesome. This is awesome. As the crowd here at Camp Love Frog, all of the campers certainly very thrilled with what they're seeing here. Just a few minutes into this one. I don't know how long you can really last without being able to see. But Doug trying to move things in the right direction. And I don't know how many of these campers really want to help Becca. They're, they're guiding in the wrong direction here as they take her right into the top rope. Love me! And love Doug. He's trying to figure his way out here. He's doing a little bit of a dance now. I don't even know if he knows where he is. He's now right in the center of the ring, working his way towards the near side corner as basic Becca moving her way out. She seems to know where Doug is going. And Doug Now going back here to the near side corner one more time, but just misses basic Becca. And now Becca pointing there to the corner, and Doug hot on her trail. And Becca, oh, she kicks that middle turnbuckle. She might have hyperextended her knee. And there's Love Doug. He nearly has her yes. in his grasp. He grabs basic Becca, picks her up, big scoop slam. And Love Doug goes to drop the leg, nobody home. But basic Becca, it looks like the mask has fallen off. And she looks to take an advantage right there. Gina Monty drops down, counts two. And this one will indeed continue here on IWTV. The campers try to rally behind Doug. And Doug now back to a vertical base. And basic Becca now. She's up. She's moving her way from the center of the ring back towards the far side corner. And Doug trying to measure her up there from the center of the ring. He's trying to feel her out. Nearly grabs her in the waist lock. And Doug. Now finds her, possibly, with the assist of the crowd once again. I don't know what Doug would do without these campers. And now Love Doug, nearly in the corner. He's going to pivot. 
And now Gina Monty, the official, has been grabbed by Basic Becca, and Love Doug has her in a rear waist lock. And the cutter by Becca, the momentum, takes that blindfold off. She needs to put it back on. She's forced to put it on before she can make a cover. Great job officiating by Gina Monty. Not allowing Basic Becca to get the cover one. This time, hooks the outside leg and only gets two. And we're rapidly approaching the 10 minute mark here of this blind date, blindfold battle at Camp Love Frog. Of course, tonight's event sponsored by Russell T and Sam Laterna. What a great event here we have. And the high back body drop with the high elevation by Love Doug. Knocks the blindfold off one more time. But Doug, oh. He might, and Doug, he looking for love in the wrong places. And Becca connects with the VSCO round. One, two, oh! Two and three quarters. I thought that was going to do it. Love Doug. Got love struck. Oh, wait a minute here. She's going for the cover. But Love Doug, he's on his stomach. His shoulders are not down. What is she doing? Once again, a great job by the official to be aware of what was going on in this situation. She set him up possibly for the Beck's termination. Love Doug picks the legs up. Jackknife cover two, three, and Love Doug gets the victory. The arm, possibly a suplex here, but again, like you said, a size disadvantage. Oh, just muscling her up. Escapes over the back. Up and over, oh boy. Oh no, he, look at a great job there by JT Dunn managing to hold on. <laughs> and there's, that's where that veteran experience comes in. Oh no! Oh. JT Dunn, ruthless. Sending a message straight into your homes. He's having none of this from Becca. Well, Dunn has to send a message because he was away from Limitless for he a was. year. And I think that perhaps he thinks the crowd might have forgotten about him. He's got something to prove uh, since returning it, uh, returning it undeniable to face Lee Moriarty. And, and he beat Lee Moriarty. JT Dunn was not supposed to be in that match, but he stepped up to the occasion and beat arguably the best technical wrestler in the world. Now a totally different challenge here with so many stakes. And one thing you have to keep in mind here as he goes to work on Becca, you're going to have to wrestle again later in the night. How much energy do you use? Because yes, you want to conserve as much as you can, but you also have to make sure you get that win. Well, that's where tactics like this come in. Uh, using cheap tactics like holding the hair, gouging the eyes, cheating, right? Saving your energy so you can expend it later if you get a victory Grabbing in the opening match. Grabbing a hold match. of her hair and wrenching it around and throw referee Nate Speckman not having any of that. And the one thing you have to always remember with JT Dunn, Sam Laterna, death by elbow can strike at a moment's notice. Oh, yes. On the flip side, we have seen Becca introduce the 450 splash in a devastating manner that has taken the heart and soul of everyone in the limitless wrestling crowd. She's throwing some forearms and elbows of her own now. And as of right now, Becca is undefeated using the 450 splash here at Limitless. She's beat Mason with it, she's beat Do Jody Threat with it, and she's beat Ava Everett with it, not to mention Davienne. Can she beat Dunn here tonight? Oh, Becca moves out of the way. <laughs> Devastating elbow to JT Dunn. Is she going for another boot? Oh, no, she's going for another you elbow. you got to wear him down. She, this is her pattern running bulldog, but thrown off by Dunn. Really strong scouting there by JT. I'm a big a proponent of scouting your opponent. Double knees to the back of the head. Did you see that? That was like a double ricochet. Her face off the second buckle and the first. JT goes for a pin, gets the two count. Falls short there. Becca knows how to muster deep. She's proven it time and time again. You might recall in her match at Undeniable against Charles Mason, she got busted open hard. Blood streaming down her face. Yes, maybe I got some of it on my hand. Maybe I did that voluntarily, but it was to prove a point that she is a fighter. She is a strong-willed competitor. I like Becca a lot, even if she just happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time uh, sometimes. Okay, okay, yes. 
embrace it. Your, your dislike of her is a product of circumstance. Merely, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, John Alba, I'll give you that one. But here's JT Dunn wearing her down once again, like you said. Butterfly position there. Wrenching back, there's a lot of torque put on your spine. You're someone who's had a lot of experience with back issues in the ring. Something like this really putting some strain on your upper back. Absolutely. Anything that affects the upper back or the neck is going to uh, debilitate a wrestler to some extent or another, being that they do land on their backs and their necks a good amount of the time. But I think that Becca has something up her sleeve here. Like I said, she's, ex she's displayed. Ooh. With the 450 splash, Becca going to the top. You can see Bean Town from there, but JT Dunn knew it was coming. Hanging on to the left leg for dear life. <laughs> Perhaps an act of desperation, but there's that elbow. Not quite death by elbow, but it's so lethal, it's calloused. It is, and speaking of that death by elbow, JT Dunn said that while Becca is a valiant competitor, at the end of the day, the elbow is going to be her end. But right now, it Things seems like... getting super! Oh, float over pin. Oh, and Dunn is pissed off, Sam Laterna. Dunn is pissed off. He wants to punch his ticket to the Vacation Land Cup Finals. John Alba, Sam Laterna here on IWTV. Hashtag VLC 2021. Join the conversation here at the Armath Am Vet. Referee Nate Speckman enforcing to Dunn. Just to Becca trying to prove that she is one of the most resilient competitors Limitless Wrestling has ever seen. Just a month ago, a big win over Charles Mason then had her neck nearly broken at the arms of prestigious, now looking for a prestigious win of her own over JT Dunn. Now just those clubbing blows to the back, Sam. Yeah, I don't miss how, uh, how that feels. Someone like you, uh, I really, quite literally, it ended your in-ring career, those, those blows to the back. Certainly, certainly, which is why I always like to uh, look out for my friends who are in the ring. But I think Are you that, friends uh, with Becca? I like to consider Becca a friend. I'm a big fan of her work. How does it feel to see her again stomp the mud hole by JT Dunn? Yeah, and remember, the longer this match goes, the harder it becomes for whoever wins this thing to secure that almighty prize. Well, I don't know if Becca knows where she is right now. She might have gotten back into the ring out of pure instinct, will to win. But right now, she's unable to get back on her feet. Referee checking up on her. JT Dunn just getting inside her head. That's one thing JT Dunn does so well, too. He's so easily able to get inside his opponent's head. Again, as much as a veteran as you're going to find here in New England, toying with Becca, virtually a rookie here. Compared to Dunn, for sure, but he should know better than to talk all that smack because sometimes that gives your opponent time to recover. Uh, the uh, Limitless Faithful here, not too fond of JT Dunn. Lots of oh, she caught him! She caught him! Oh! Inside Cradle almost got him. This go wrong! Beautiful! Step to the cranium! JT Dunn down to the mat. Is she going to go for it again, Sam? Yes, Becca she's going to! And this could be her time! Get up there, Becca! This is your shot to win the VLC, girl! The crown rolling back on! The 450! Does she have one more? those middle ropes she goes for a big oh look i think she was going for those double knees she misjudged oh. it and a fantastic stylistic power bomb there from the soccer main native adam booker and there's the power of adam booker in full display there and the chaotic audience fully behind becca they want a scrunchie they want to see the scrunchie on the new england title and Booker disrespectfully just whipped her with his vest. I mean, the, the fact that Adam Booker is wearing a button-up shirt and the fact that he came out wearing a vest tells me he wasn't taking this match seriously. And I think that he just got shocked into taking this match seriously because what Becker just did to him in the first couple of minutes was really just bring the match to him. As you said, using his size against his advantage. But now Adam Booker is I mean, he doesn't need to get ready for a match in general. He's got 21 years of professional wrestling experience. Right. He's got everything he needs, and that's where it comes in. 
like you said, that experience gives her such an edge against Becca. She's still relatively new in her career, even though she's accomplished things. But Booker's pretty much seen it all, done it all. Absolutely has a look at this suplex. Beautiful. The snap on that snap suplex reminds me, to be honest, of the dynamite kid of old. I mean, one of my heroes. I mean, of course, you know. Absolutely. He's a national treasure. Well, Booker now really taking it to Becca. And I don't like to see Becca in a situation where anyone is standing over her, kicking her in the kidneys like that. But I've got no doubt that she's going to find her way out of this very quickly. And hold on a second. Oy. Well, this uh, could be bad news. Are we about to see what I think we're going to see? I have not seen a move like this for quite some time since my days of commentating down in Guadalajara. There we have a fantastic Mexicana surfboard, also known as a Romero special. And Booker then, wait a sec, it looked like both shoulders are being counted there. And Booker had to bail on that one at the last minute to avoid getting pinned. Well, it looked like Becca was reaching for the ropes with, with the top of her body. Got both shoulders on the ground, using momentum, taken to the ropes. Oh! And Booker just picked her up and dropped her straight across the top rope. Oh, we have knee. seen this before. Back elbow. And, and about a trifecta. I mean, this is the trifecta. Oh, wait a second! She knew what was coming! One, two! two. Oh, oh my god! In what would typically follow the Book Daddy driver, but Becca knew it was coming. An absolutely fantastic move out there. Sunset flip, two. No, couldn't hold him down. What else does Becca have in store for Booker here? Try and go for a backslide. May not work due to size difference. Oh, oh and here he goes. He's trying for it again. Will Becca have it scouted? She does on the second move this time. Beautiful oh. super kick. Well, Becca then looking for something fantastic here. We've seen her high fly moves before. Middle rope. Spoon fed. Oh, no. Wait a sec. All right. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Becca landing on her head. Not for the first time this evening. And Book Daddy has retained and led to the middle rope now. Becca, crossbody, Morta says, I don't think so. And now Morta has Becca, Woo! fall away slam, and that was an absolute heave of a slam. Did you see how high he threw Becca up in the air? Vertical press cover, or lateral press, either way, no cook of the leg. Morta getting going. Absolutely, it's, it's how bad does Mortar, uh, well, how much do you think he got out of Becca with uh, that last move there? Not hooking the leg. Wait, wait, Morton, Morton needs you to be quiet. Morton needs you to be quiet. Oh, look at this. Look at this deadlift right here. Just laying Becca where he needs her. Is she sleeping? What's happening here? I don't know. Oh, but Morton then was a little too loud. Becca heard him coming. The top, it looks like. Or at well, least right, the first rope. right now we got to the first ropes. But Becca is not afraid of getting up high. Of course, she's got that beautiful 450. But wait a sec. <laughs> Don't worry about a 450. That was a 180 as Morty just threw her off the middle rope with that gorilla press toss. And Becca is getting is slow to get up right now. While Meanwhile, Mortar seems to be feeding off the crowd's energy. Still struggling on that leg, but he's managed to knock Becca down with the right hand on the top. There's a second one. Becca then jumping up and down, getting knocked down, but still getting up every time. Mortar can't quite put full weight on that leg, but it's certainly looking like he's recovering a little bit. Crossbody from Mortar. Usually that would be a springboard crossbody, but there's no way Mortar was risking that tonight. Not after the damage done to his leg, surely. And now he's going to go for the F55, Reginald. He's got Becca up. This could be it. But again, Becca not able to be caught up there because of the injury to Morta. Oh, my goodness. A chop taking Becca down all the way. Oh. And sent on squish in a Becca. That's it. She, she's done. Her lungs New are blowing out after that. New England Championship retained, but no. What? Are you kidding me? Morta's going to be double her size. Absolutely. Landing on her. Oh, all of his weight. Certainly Morta now struggling to get back to his feet. That's, of course, a single bust, single leg Boston. But Morta... Oh, wait, oh, wait, he's got a roll up. Small package here. Just a two. Becca was surprised to see that. Gets right back to her feet.
Goes for a kick. Morta catching Becker again. Oh, wait a minute. Just the two. Oh, wow. Morta with a single arm power that's, bomb. That's it. Kick out. Are you My me? goodness. That's, that's incredible. Becker has bounced back ability like no other superstar on the chaotic wrestling roster. But you just can't keep her down. But look at her, she's favoring her neck right now. That she must have landed on that hard and that power bomb. I think she landed on her on her head right there. If we can get a replay of that, you'll get to see it. But otherwise, just trust us. Our eyes are right here. Mortar's not 100% either, of course. Still limping on that right leg. Yeah, but the straps are down. That means business. Picks her up. F5-5. Five, five. No, Becker slips out again. And a chop to the knee right there. Becker, perhaps now once again, going for the single leg Boston and locks it in. Becker has that single leg Boston Crab locked in. You can see the pain in Morta's face. Is he going to tap out and, if and he, lose his championship if to Becca? He taps, he taps. It'll be a new champion. Morta then, unable to get to the ropes, so he spins. And now, Becca has to turn to face him. Morta, single leg push off. Becca knocked down into the corner. Morta now. Ooh. Swipe kick, taking his head off. Becca has to cover. Wait a sec, Becker right placing Morta. Hit him right in the nose on that kick. And Becker now is climbing to that top rope perhaps. Getting a little bit distracted right now by this audience, by the Chaotic Wrestling faithful. Becker is up on the top rope. Morta then on his knees, on his hands, on his feet now. What you thinking here? Ooh! Did you see the contact right there? Becker's in trouble. F55 five, five. New England Championship retained surely unbelievable Oh back immediately on the attack shotgun drop kick much like the first encounter back here taking immediately to Tremont That's what she got it Oh the right there at signature right hand just like that it ain't gonna take very long if Tremont gets a lot of few of those Walk shots. out, walk out, big avalanche in the corner. Becca sent off the other side. Another avalanche in the corner. And if Tremont had any issues with his leg, he certainly isn't showing it right about now. Now the sense Man, Becca, to Becca the sent outside. Yeah, she's out there. Now Tremont going to follow her to the outside. And let me tell you something. Again, watch Aaron Rourke. Uh, don't worry about Aaron Rourke. Because you know why? This is Matt Tremont on the outside of the ring. Oh, ooh, back here with a slap. Knife edge. Super K rocking Tremont. Oh, but yet again. As soon as Becca gets any semblance of offense, there's that signature right hand. And again, Keeping an eye on Aaron Rourke. Very smart strategy by Tremont. Breaking Papa Giorgio's 10 count. Match cannot be won on the outside. Whoa, avoids the chop. Big right hand from Becca. And the chop. Hard form. Tremont saying, give me some more. Another hard shot. Becca's been in some quite vicious contests over in her own right over the last couple of months. We've seen the matches that she's had over at Wrestling Open in Worcester against the lights of Alec Price, against the lights of Shannon Evangeline. Worcester. Worcester. And another right hand by Tremont. I want to see a title match. Bring that damn pole. What do you say? Uh-oh. What does Matt have in mind? Look out, look out, Becca eats the ring post. Oh, but Matt, oh, you notice. Oh, oh, almost went into our official. Papa Giorgio almost ate the worst of that. Well, here comes Tremont. Oh, the splash, but Papa Giorgio ate it in the process. Our official's down, Becca's down. Oh, but Aaron Rook back again, this slime ball. The dime piece of Becca. Come on, Spear! Come on! Come on, we can't have the title change hands like this. Come on! 
Oh, Aaron Rourke's not done. First a spear. Now Aaron Rourke back up on the top. This guy looks like he should be doing motocross. Oh, nobody home. No water in the pool for the moonsault. Get him out of here. Aaron Rourke's chest caught nothing but canvas. Big King Kong Lariat. Maybe this time Aaron Rourke has finally been taken out of this contest. But our referee Papa Giorgio is still down. We need our official out here. Oh, and back up. Oh, that microphone. And again off the head of Tremont. Oh, come on. How much more can Tremont take? Back again, setting up Tremont. Tremont got nailed twice with that microphone. And now Becca going up to the top. And Becca hits us, we have a new champion. World Tour 450. One, two, three. Papa Georgia, one, two. Come on, Matt, kick out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tremont kicks out. I don't know whose side you're on on this freaking thing. I'm not the third man. Becca can't believe it. She thought she had the IWTV Heavyweight Championship won. After those microphone shots in, that, in her signature 450, now going back to the leg. Going for a single leg Boston Crab, trying to turn Tremont over. Oh, submission hold here. Tremont's a long ways away from the ropes. How much punishment can that leg take? Tremont's got a fight here. Of course he is. He wants to hold on to that championship. Oh, and Matt's able to get to the ropes. Well, Becca's got a breaker. She'll get disqualified. Using all of Papa Giorgio's five count. Oh, Matt's, Matt's in a lot of pain with that leg. I certainly understand You well, might want to, you know, hate to say it, but you might want to live the fight another day. What are you saying? Oh, like, I'm, I'm lacing his boot. Oh, there's so much pain going on. And that leg and that ankle might be swelling up. Are you suggesting that Matt Tremont give up? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying... Oh, whoa, there was a shoe! The shoe went flying! That shoe and Tremont went flying! We inside cradle! Inside cradle! Two! Got it! Got it! Three, two, one! Happy New Year! Here we go! Ringing it in, quite literally, the sound of the bell here in Worcester! Becca with the first shot as we ring in 2023. Fans bring the weapons. As this crowd in Worcester telling Becca what her fate is here tonight. But will it be? Oh! Short arm clothesline. Becca laid out, clutching at her midsection. No real friendly place to get any kind of respite here in the ring. There is a chop by Alec Price onto Becca as he has the first weapon lined up and ready. Think about everything that has been brewing between these two. He is teeing up. Becca able to duck. Ducked again. Oh, jeez. Couldn't duck that one. That was a low kick of the spinning back variety. And now Alec Price looking to line Becca up here. The biggest surprise, it's Dodge. Becca getting out of Dodge. Getting to the outside of the ring. And that was a, uh, oh God. She, Alec doesn't oh! see it. And that was a cookie sheet that said, Becca sucks on the back. There's and some kind of poetic irony there. I'm just not sure what it is. And now taking another cookie sheet as she is able to strike first and just smacks him in the head with that. Nothing sweet about that on that cookie sheet. Smash! Right to the back is Becca onto Alec Price. 
Whoa, following behind now. There's a chop. Made to pay for it at the hands of the Northeast Beast. Oh, just swinging away with that. Looks like a bat. I don't know what it is. Oh, there's a kick there by Alec Price as he is out here on the floor. He's winding up once more. Oh, oh God, sickening thud and now firing himself up. Prize City OG has got, is that a Minecraft hammer? Hey, your guess is as good as, yeah, it Maybe is. Maybe a pickaxe. Ah, jeez. And he is firing himself up. And they're, they're very sharp, rigid edges of that as well that can do some oh. scratching damage. No, talk about damage. And that low blow was legal. Oh, I see some silver on that. Uh, Are they thumbtacks? Oh, oh yes, jeez. They, they were something. Whatever they were, they just exploded against that post. There's a forearm by Alec Price on to Becca. Chops to the sequin chest of Becca, the international pop sensation. All the bedazzling in the world cannot save you now, Becca. Round and round he goes. Slapping hands on the way. Oh, geez. Able to course correct though off the post. Drop kick to Becca. And there's a drop kick to Becca. As she is down and Alec Price standing tall here in the main event. He wants a lightsaber. As they're lined up. Holding it like a baseball player. T is off. And Becca clutching her midsection. Ah, geez, another crack across the back. As he continues the assault here on Becca after all of the mental anguish that she put him through. Is that Hasbro? It is. Oh, God. Packing a wallop. It is. I love that kid. That's awesome. Everyone's here to ring in 2023. Uh, well, he is absolutely unglued, out of his mind. And can you blame him after what he went oh, through? Whoa, 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 whoa. As they are making their way over toward us. Yeah, action coming dangerously close to us here in the broadcast position. Oh, boy. There's a European uppercut telling everyone to move over here. Kicking chairs in the meantime as well. Gonna put her up against the stage. Oh, oh stops herself. It. She got her foot up. Oh no. Ah, face Gonna first. Up top. Fingers to the sky. Oh, right to the face. Becca is down and she is out. Thrown off balance with the garbage can lid to the face. And Alec Price sees the opening. I think he's gonna fly. Oh, incoming from the prize. Alec Price flying into 2023 like that. Has Becca up. Going to bring her back into the ring. Price wants to end this. Price needs to end this. Kick to the head. And a springboard in. Deflected by Becca. Reverses. Oh! Snap! Right on her head. And here comes the crackle and pop! Oh! Big time power bomb! Is that it? No! That is, not, that is not it here. In the opening minutes of 2023, Alec Price continuing to battle Becca. One of these competitors is going to have their brand new year start with defeat. Think about that. You are setting the tone for the entirety of 2023, not to mention the long feud that we have seen between Price and Becca. As he laid in a ferocious shot. Is that Ryan Reynolds on a cooking sheet? I can think of nothing sweeter. Oh. 
boot to the cheek, the cheek of Price. Oh no, lands on the apron though. Springs Gonna through. springboard in into the cutter. Nailed it. Looking to capitalize the cover, not quite. Really sharp edges to it. That is a fair point by you. What is, oh, now feeding her the gingerbread house. And if it's stale, it could be totally crusty. Gonna try. Oh boy. Into the rack. Oh, but holding on to that top rope. Sends in the danger that could befall her. The pop sensation. No, no, no. She lost her grip. Wait. No, lands on her feet. There's a back elbow. Alec Price gonna fly, but no. Becca with that kick to the head. Staggers Alec Price, and now Price, he's loaded on the shoulders of Becca. Oh my God. Oh! Into the TKO. She's going to use it to the greatest effect possible. No! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Becca almost went through the table. And Price did as well. Back elbow shot to Becca. Oh, Stops herself. It. Back elbow. Super. Oh kick. my god. Absolutely brained her with that kick. But what what does Becca have? She's pulled something. I don't know if Alec Price sees it. Oh, there is powder in the eyes. Whether it was salt or powder, it was something. Oh, spinning with that back heel kick. Oh, another one. Becca impaired the vision of Price. Could not protect himself from both of those blows. Oh There's another high kick. And Alex down. But yet she doesn't go for the cover, Alyssa. Why? She wants to do and inflict as much pain as humanly possible. She knows she has the advantage, but it's not enough. Has that chair planted onto Alec Price. Going up top, this is, this is evil. Oh, it would have been bad enough. The 450 with the chair on Price's midsection. No miss, and she went ankles down on that chair. Alec Price out of the way. Price, a glimmer in his eye, knows that he just evaded certain defeat. Drags himself back up to his feet. Has her lined up. No. Oh, is she begging? Is she begging? After all that they've been through, Becca pleading for sympathy. And he's hesitating. He's hesitating. He's remembering the good times they had when things were right. Were they ever, though? Oh, jeez! Fistful of hair tells me they were not. Has her up! What is he doing? Tombstone on the chair! The cover from Price to take it home. The Northeast Beast has done it. The prize is Here your winner. Is your